Ha, I'm the bog lady. I live in the bog. But for those of you that are not one with the bog, my name is Cynthia. And I came here today on this new hair fangled technology so I can show you all some of the lovely creatures of the bog. Now here we have a bog lizard. These are slithering around everywhere, just just climbing on all the the bog weeds. That's where I found this boy on a bog weed. And they are just the sweetest little boys. They won't even run away from you. Look. And he's gone. Let's move on. Okay, here we have a bearded foganol. And these guys are just so, oh, come, come, look, oh, well, these guys are just so great. Um, you can see their beautiful colors. They blend right into the bog. And the great thing about these little chaps is that they eat the bog bugs. And the bog bugs have a pretty nasty bite. So it's great to have these little chubby fellas around. Okay, now let's move on to something with a few less limbs. Okay, now do I have a treat for y'all here? We've got a bog squiggler. These boys aren't seen very often, and they may be a wee bit venomous, but I do love them all the same, and I trust them with my life. That is how much I love this bog, and how much I know this bog. And, um... You can tell, just like with the bearded bogginole, they've got these gorgeous colors to help them blend in with the bog. Um, but I would suggest not trying this at home. Don't handle any venomous animal at home that you do not fully trust with your entire existence. And last, but most definitely not least, we have the bog weasel. Now these guys are just so sweet. The tamest done things you ever do saw. Uh, what are you doing, bog weasel? Ah, my neck, the bog weasel got. And these boys are so easy to hold. They don't wiggle at all. And <laughs> they definitely. <laughs> uh, 